Hi, it's me, and this is Heaven's Election Update number three. And I probably will ha have at least one more before the elections, but you know what? God might do something different. I just want to still encourage you to keep praying for Trump, pray for God's will, God's way to be done right now in our country. Look forward to celebrating a victory. So let's all just ring our bell if you have your bell. If not, please go find one. And if you're not here to celebrate with us, go somewhere and read a good book. It's better than bashing, okay? So here we go. Woohoo! I am celebrating. This is exactly what heaven is doing. If you want to know what's going on in heaven, they are ringing bells of victory. Because whether you realize it or not, they've already seen the future. They already know what's going to happen. They know God's plans. They know that we've been responding. We have actually been praying so long for this country. There's many people in heaven right now that actually prayed for this country to be healed, for God to come and heal our land. You know that thing in Chronicles where it says, If my people who are caught on my name, those are the ones who matter. We are the ones who have authority in this, in this realm, in our country. We really do in the spirit realm. You have been given a key. I'll hold it the right way. You have been given a key by God. That key is called authority. We have keys of authority to rule and reign with Christ right now in this world. And that is very important that you understand that. There's so much of the body still with their heads stuck in a box. You know, hiding in a closet or hiding in the hills. They do not know what time it is. They don't know who they are. They don't know about their authority. And I've been speaking about this uh, probably the last couple years very focused, okay? This is the time to be focused. Don't let the things around you impact your life. Don't let them interfere with what God has for you, not just our country, but you yourself. This is the time of being positioned by God. He's positioning many things, many people. Trump just has to be one of them. And let me tell you, even as a business person, even if I wasn't a believer, even if I didn't understand God's plans, I would still vote for him because he is good for our country. He's smart. He has integrity. Whether you believe it or not or know it or not, stop listening to the liberal media. Stop listening to man's mind. This is the time to be spiritually engaged with what God wants. And I can tell you, if you're following in the spirit, you know what God is saying. This is a time of victory. This is a time of great, drastic change in our country. This is a time to celebrate. Even in knowing all that's going on around you, it shouldn't stop you from being, being excited because our lives are actually changing. We're not waiting on it anymore. You're seeing the evidence of it. There's upheaval. There's, you know, eruptions in different places. There's disruptions. There's things being displaced and unseated. And all of this is necessary. And no matter what the liberal media says, or the liberal people, or even the side that's standing for darkness, and if you haven't realized that by now, you need an eye checkup, you need a soul checkup, you need to get caught up to heaven. There goes my camera somewhere. A <laughs> Jen. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Jen, for being my camera person tonight. You're welcome. I don't get to thank her all the time, but I'm thanking her. You know, I actually haven't even had dinner yet. I know I eat around midnight, but it's getting close. So, back to the subject at hand. If you will just look at the things, really, even just logically thinking, we can't stay the same. Our country can't stay the same. Our government can't stay the same. There won't be an America left, in case you haven't noticed. We've lost so many jobs, it's almost ridiculous. Nothing new has been created. Nothing has been resolved. The terrorists are still trying to attack us. Okay, that hasn't been dealt with. Our economy, do I even have to talk about that, really? I mean, look how many trillions of dollars in debt we are. There has to be a radical change, and God needs someone who knows business, understands business, is serious about it. I know he's bold and outspoken, but so is almost everyone God ever used. He can't have somebody weak, or wimpy in that place right now. Because let me tell you, they would have already caved in, sold out, or run. And Donald is not going to run. 
He's more fiercely focused. He is anointed. He is appointed. No different than anyone else in the past that God has called to do something for him. That doesn't even mean that person has to know they're doing it. It's just that if they are actually going forward in what they were called to do, and Trump is truly doing that. The other side, on the other hand, is actually leaving the most important thing out about what they're supposed to be talking about. It's called America. This is the country of America, founded for God's purposes, based on biblical principles. Our founding fathers, almost all of them knew God, knew what his plan was, and just while I'm at it, let me just kill that whole thing about separation of church and state. Do you know that's not even in the Constitution? I bet you, how long has it been since you read that? Huh? Let me tell you, it's not part of it. It was a letter written to churches. Churches as a promise that our government would not interfere in the activities of the church. The separation of church and state meant the state is separated from interfering with the church. It's not the other way around. And they've been twisting that for a long time. But I want to correct that. That letter was written as a promise to the church that the state or the government would not interfere with its activities. If anyone had a right to have a political platform in this country, it would be the church. All right? They reach out. They help. They sow so much into communities, into states. You know, everyone lays down their lives to do something to help here in this country. Look how much the church has already done. God's not going to abandon the church. But let me tell you, you are the church. And if you're the church, you should not let uh, cursing, defiling, backbiting, gossiping, judgmental words come out of your mouth. It says that that should not happen. The word itself says that. It even says, bless, don't curse. Did you miss that scripture? Because let me tell you, it says, bless, don't curse. And you know what? There's been a lot of cursing going on. And right now, Father, I take authority over all those ugly, unkind words being spoken, released into our atmosphere. I make a ruling that every one of them will be wiped away like they were never spoken. I personally ask you to forgive your own children who are speaking them because you want them to be free of that. You speak enough doom and gloom and release enough cursing around you, your atmosphere will be filled with that. Your own soul will be filled with that. You need to be free from all of that. You don't want that hanging on you. And maybe you don't realize that, but every word you speak goes in your own soul, and your soul collects things, and then you're going to be what is a man thinketh in his heart, that's your soul, so is he. That means if you're thinking all these critical, hateful things, you're going to become that. I wouldn't want that. I want to be free of all that, be filled with life, with hope, with expectancy. We, as the body of Christ, and I'm speaking specifically to you right now, you as the body of Christ, we're put here to be light in this world. I know that's what the Bible says. It says that we are meant to be light. We're not supposed to hide our light. Well, let me tell you, when you say things that aren't good or aren't right, or, or you know what, that bring freedom or life, those things aren't good. You're actually hiding your light. You're clouding your light with those things. We're meant here to be light, to bring hope, to have good news. Have you been speaking good news to people? Because I have on purpose. It took me a while to get to that place, but let me tell you, anyone who wants it, anyone who, who will pursue something of God, you're going to have it if you pursue it with all of your heart. You can change yourself right in midstream and lay down yourself on, on your face and say, God, please forgive me for all the unkind, violent words I've been speaking. I want your will, your way, because I belong to you. And this is your time to take back your country. So we need to all say together, God, may your will, your way be done. Even if I don't understand it, even if I don't even know what it is, I want change. I prayed. I released words into the atmosphere for this to happen. And I am believing right now that you are changing things. And I'm going to show that by saying I want to celebrate. I choose to celebrate this time. Not argue about it. Celebrate who you are. We're the ones who get to change it for God. This is our time to shine. It's not your time to hide or to argue you know what? Let people make their own decisions. You know we have a free will. 
let those people make a choice. You can't drag them somewhere and make them choose something you want. But your words are powerful. If you're praying for them, if you're praying for God's will, His way to be done, that releases so much power and faith in the atmosphere on behalf of our country. So I'm encouraging you to start doing that. If you haven't, get up, make statements and declarations that God's will shall be done in our country, in our government. Radical change is coming for the good. Even it looks like a mess in the beginning. You know, if you ever have to clean out a really messy house, as you were doing that, it exposed all kinds of things, things that were hidden you didn't even know were there. Well, you can think of that. God is cleaning out the White House. He is totally doing that. And let me tell you what he said. He said, I've only moved my hand slightly, but I'm about to move my right hand on behalf of the one I have chosen. And so much corruption and lies will be so exposed, it might even shock you. And he's going to do that on behalf of Trump because let me tell you, God has appointed and anointed him. He's had more prayer, I think, than any other person running for president in our country, and he needs it. Because never in my life, I'm 64 years old, I have voted in every election, and never in my life have I ever seen such violent accusations, lies, uh, hate spewed out over one person running. Not everybody, but one person. And it's not even on the side of darkness. It's the one standing for life, liberty, justice, and guess what? Trump loves America. That other side never even says America. They have an agenda. The enemy has an agenda. And let me tell you, a liberal man has an agenda. They better pack their suitcases and move or just surrender. Because I can tell you right now, America is going to change. It's going to be for the good. It's going to be God's will, God's way. Life is going to increase. Prosperity is going to increase. Joy and celebration. The violence will be wiped out of our streets and pushed back because this is the time for justice and righteousness to come to our land. And I know I keep telling you these things, but they will happen. God has not changed his mind. And as long as he has some standing in prayer and in agreement with him, and those who are walking in the, in the Spirit are totally seeing God's plan. If you're just raging all the time about this thing, you are in the flesh. And we all know that the Bible says that if you are fleshly minded, that is death. If you are spiritually minded, that is life. So all those who are celebrating with me... Ring your bell every day and say, I celebrate with you, God. I celebrate with you, heaven, that heaven is coming to this earth. We're going to experience new life, new inventions, new ways to express our care and our kindness to this world. We're going to be an example of blinding light. We're going to blind the enemy with the light of God that's in us. And some of you have grown so much brighter in all this thing because you've laid down your own rights, your own ways found your life in Christ, you're running after him with everything you got. And let me remind you why all this is happening. It is because of Jesus Christ, because of the third day in hell when he wiped up hell and gave us keys of authority and dominion in this earth. And he expects us to be just like him. He's been waiting on this day. He said, pray that my people be willing in the day of my power. Christ in us is the hope of glory. The glory is the power of God. I expect to see it everywhere. I expect to see it in everyone who is running after this. And God, I just release life and hope and liberty and justice into everyone, even the people that don't want it. More life, more liberty, more justice. I break off the deception of all those who are watching this, God, and I say, your will, your way, Father. May your kingdom come and your will be done on earth in America, just like it is in heaven. So this is my update, and I'm letting you know God's going to expose more and more and more things, and no one can hide it. God knows the thoughts and the intents. He knows every written document. He knows every hidden document. He knows every payoff, the hands that paid those things off, the hands that brought the violence, encouraged the violence, and paid for the violence. You wait and see what happens. No one will be able to deny that God was involved in this. I love him. I pray you love him. I pray every day your life 
gets better. That life pours into your body, into your soul, into your spirit, man. Because we were made in this day to be great for him. I love you, and I'll see you later. May the host be with you.